Etymologically, this word, whose definition is still being debated and updated, is derived from biological diversity, an expression that identifies both the variety of living things on our planet and the plurality of levels in which this is expressed, from genes to species and ecosystems. And I'm Valeria Barbie and I'm an expert on biodiversity and climate change. I'm a scientific communicator and book author. But biodiversity is also the library of life on our planet, a library that collects the history of evolution, the art of adaptation, the geography of distribution, so as uh, physics, chemics, uh, music, uh, uh, engineer, and so on. Biodiversity is also the pillar of our existence, as it provides us with the ecosystem services, which are products and services that allow us to live on this planet. I'm referring, for example, to drinkable water and pollination, so as the air we breathe every second. On closer inspection, one exercise we should all learn to do is to look around every day and try to associate the things we use on a daily basis with the species that enable their existence. One of the most fascinating things about biodiversity is that we do not know exactly how many organisms exist on the planet. Some say 30 million, maybe more or maybe less. In fact, we discover new species every day. At, at the moment, more than 1.8 million animals and plant species have been surveyed worldwide. Uncertainty about the number of existing species is itself a problem. Since we don't know how many species exist, we do not know how many we are losing. In practice, it's possible that the species that have not yet been discovered are already on the brink of extinction and therefore may never be known. Luckily, we can rely to conservation, which is a fundamental strategy that is proven to work and and succeed in protecting the biological diversity of our planet. It means that uh, protect ecosystems, habitat, species and genus. There is in situ and ex situ conservation. The former occurs in the species natural environment uh, through habitat and ecosystem preservation practices. The second occurs in an artificial environment where the species is managed so that it can be reintroduced to its habitat at a later date.